Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome back to Vortex Gaming and Reacts. Uh, guys, it's been a hot minute since I made any sort of video for you guys. I've been quite busy with other stuff and I didn't have time to make any video for you guys. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I am back, okay? Um, I'm ready to make more content on this channel now. Uh, I think I can dedicate at least one video a week for this channel. Or at least I hope I can do that. What we're gonna cover, I'm not sure. This channel, it's a bit of, uh, you know, whatever. I can do whatever I want on this channel. I can cover whatever uh, content I want. There is no specific content that I want to do. Um, so I decided to give some try and see what I can find around on YouTube that I can watch and react to. And uh, I came across this channel called Truly. Now, I gotta say... <laughs> <laughs> this channel has a lot of stuff here. Uh, these titles of the videos, they're really, really interesting. There's a lot of things that I can uh, watch in, on this channel here. I, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Like, there's so much stuff. and so <laughs> fun and interesting, I think, um, that I don't even know where should I start, which video should I watch first, and uh, what I can do here, you know? I'm going to... Take a look at some of these titles, some of these videos, see if I can find anything interesting. And then uh, I'm going to come back to you guys and then I will share with you uh, the video and hopefully have a good reaction. Maybe a laugh or two, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, give me one second and uh, we will come back with the video. All right, guys. So I found this video. <laughs> this seems like, I don't know, maybe interesting uh, or maybe stupid. Uh, it's called My Boyfriend Asked My Ex-Husband to move in so i'm assuming it's about like a girl living with her boyfriend and the ex-husband i think is the lady w living with the ex-husband and the boyfriend is moving with them or the ex-husband is moving with with the girlfriend and the new i don't know <laughs> i'm not sure what the heck is going on here um okay we're gonna start the video we're gonna give it a try watch a little bit maybe i'm gonna skip some of the segments you know and uh i don't know maybe we'll, we're gonna watch two or three videos out of this channel we'll see or maybe we're gonna dedicate one video to just one uh, one of these videos and uh we'll see so let's uh, let's start here i live with my boyfriend my ex-husband and our children it's All not right. ordinary that sounds weird <laughs> i'm not saying i don't know i feel like it's weird right do you live i don't okay I, I i don't know let's let's give it a, another try see what else is going on because so far i don't know <laughs> hey, brother. we've had people in our personal life tell us that we're sinner wait who is the husband and who's the ex wait did i miss that i live with my boyfriend my ex-husband okay so okay so that guy is uh this guy here it's the ex-husband and this one is the boyfriend okay and right. and the people Today, my ex-husband's ex-girlfriend is coming to visit. Who would whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. So, the ex-girlfriend of the ex-husband is coming to visit. What the, heck, what the fuck is going on here, guys? <laughs> I feel like, I mean, maybe, I, am I wrong? Am I living in the wrong world? What, what What's going on here? So, there's like the boyfriend, the ex-husband, then... The ex-girlfriend of the ex-husband is got I don't know. You want to live with someone that they were married to. What does the term brother husband mean? Huh. Good question. All right, mac and cheese is hot. All right. This is boyfriend. This is ex-husband. I'm. I don't know what. Why are they so cool with all this stuff? Like both of them. Maybe. Maybe it's a thing of uh, about the child. So the ex-husband is still around for the children. And the boyfriend, he kind of has to deal with it. I don't know. And that's baby mama. My name is Megan. I am a mother of two. My boyfriend is Michael, and we've been together for about a year. Tyler's my ex-husband. We got married in January of 2020, and we got divorced in September of 2023. My daughter, Ryan, is... So three years of marriage that went down the drain. And then she lives with the with the boy. She dates another guy for a year. But why would the guy? Because I think in the beginning he says that the guy has to move with them. So why? Why would you ask to move with them? Like I don't understand. Two years old, and my son Juniper is six weeks old. 
How do you guys divide household chores? Wait, 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 wait. Six weeks old. Is the 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 other child the second one? Who she had the baby with? The boyfriend or the husband? The ex-husband. Man, I'm so confused here. <laughs> okay. Megan keeps the children alive, and Tyler and I do the dishes. We do the cleaning. We do the cooking. That's. He says that while she's cooking in the background. Okay. <laughs> while he's eating whatever the fuck he's eating there. Inaccurate. Look at this guy's face. It's I, This is not the face of a guy who agrees with this situation, right? Whose idea was to live this way? Everyone is... Okay, so two people are pointing to this guy. And this guy is pointing to this guy. So... But in the beginning of the video, he says that he asked to move with them. <laughs> I don't know. Man, this is so fucked up here. It was your idea. Yeah, that was my idea. My oh, boyfriend okay. was the one who brought up the idea of, hey, why don't we just all live together? But why? <laughs> why would you want that? Why? Why? Why not saying, come move with me? I'm, I'm, okay. Obviously, at first, everybody was kind of against it. We all moved to the East Coast around the same time. But once we realized that finances just weren't getting better and... Oh, so it's because of finances, right? So the... I, I don't know. Is the, the new boyfriend, is he taking advantage of ex-husband and the girl? You know? He moves in a big house. It looks like a really big, nice house, right? I feel like he's taking advantage. He's like, you know what? I'm dating this girl. I can actually move with them. Live in a nice house, you know? And I don't give a fuck about the ex-husband being around, you know? The guy has no shame. I gotta say that. You know, it was really impacting our daughter. We just said, let's do it. <laughs> what will each of the children call you? Well, I just calls me Michael. Sometimes she also calls me Tyler or dad. And I'm like, dad, why? I don't think the children would call him dad unless they are forced, not forcing the children, but, uh, you know, implementing the idea inside of children's heads that he is another dad. Right. And again, look at this guy's face. He, he smiles, but he's like, mm. I don't like that. I don't like that shit. <laughs> like, nope, that's not right. I'm not dead. Yeah, we correct her. Yeah. Her immediately. Okay, so they're correcting her. Maybe maybe the child, she just sees two guys in the, in the house. She doesn't know which one is the dad, so she calls everyone dad, right? Since I stay home with the kids, I'm obviously around them the most. When Tyler wakes up. Okay, it looks like this kid, it's actually his. Not of this one. So she has the oldest daughter. She's uh, it's with the the ex husband, and I feel like this one it's with the, this guy. Oh, maybe that's why he wanted to move in, right? He wanted to be with um with the daughter, with his uh, kid, and the ex husband he wanted to be with his daughter. So they decided to move all together. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on uh, here. He'll kind of take over with Ryan. When Michael gets home, obviously he helps out with Juniper and with Ryan. What are some of the immediate benefits that you noticed? My daughter. None. <laughs> There's no benefits in this. Come on. For sure. She has been much more calm. She's obviously happier having both her parents around all the time. I just get to be closer to my daughter every single day. Yeah, so, but yeah, that's what they're doing it. They're doing it for the kids. That's why they uh, agreed to live together. Otherwise, there's no fucking other explanation. I, I wonder how this guy is uh, he's feeling, you know? I want to see if uh, later in the video they will talk about this, if he's okay with it or not. They. What level of, like, swallowing pride did it take to, to do this? It took a lot. Yeah, exactly. I, it's, it's, it can't be easy, right? It can't be easy. And uh, I'd say it still takes a lot every day. It's hard, but it's really easy at the same time because it's just kind of like roommates. <laughs> <laughs> there had to be a... 
Oh, so she's making videos and she's with her boyfriend and ex man. I don't know. I mean, you know, as long as they don't hurt anyone and they're happy and they agree with everything, I think it's okay, you know. Um, I I can't see a problem in that. But it is weird, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe I feel like it's wrong, but maybe there's nothing wrong with this situation, right? A lot of healing and a lot of personal growth to even consider something like this. My boyfriend, my ex-husband, and I all just signed a lease together. What has the response been to you? They signed for a lease. Okay. You share your story. Oh my gosh, it's been mixed. People thinking it's awful and we're confusing the children. So what were some misconceptions people had about your family? They assume that we're a thruple for some reason. We're not a thruple. Please take that out of your minds. Well. Mm. Now that they're mentioning it, I wonder. <laughs> is the ex-husband getting any, you know, sugar from her every now and then? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit understandable, but we are not. A lot of people think that we are horrible parents. That we No, I, I wouldn't say they're horrible parents, no. Um, because they're basically doing it for the kids, right? So the both kids will be with their father and the mother. With their father, yeah, and the mother. So they're not going to miss. It's going to create a lot of confusion, yeah? Later down the road, I wonder if I don't I, I don't know when this was uh, recorded and made this video, but I wonder if in the future when the kids grow a little bit uh, older, if this will work again, right? I don't know. We're ruining Ryan's life. We're confusing her, which is also not the case. She uh, fully understands. Mom and Dad are not together. How would you describe your relationship with each other? Better. <laughs> yeah. Better. So they, they had maybe some problems in the beginning. Maybe they were arguing and fighting a lot. Definitely yeah. better. Definitely better. What? It took a very long time for them to even be in the same room. After I got out of the fact. So yeah, there was a lot of problems in the beginning. And it's understandable because, you know, having the boyfriend, the ex-husband around. Maybe the boyfriend, he actually agreed with this because it was his idea. So he didn't mind the situation too much, but I think the ex-husband, he didn't really like it, you know, but it's good that, uh, you know, <laughs> they, they agree with each other now. Act that, you know. Still weird, yeah? Still, still fucking weird. Okay, nothing to do there. <laughs> no, I have to live with my ex-wife's new boyfriend and kind of just sucked it up and just became, I guess, I don't know, I'd say friends, somewhat. It's so the first time he said that. <laughs> Tyler. Has this living situation had an impact on your romantic relationship? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, this, this is a good question, actually, because we know the girl and the boyfriend, they're okay. You know, they're fucking each other. But what about the ex-husband? How do other girls uh, see the situation? You know, you can't go to on a date and say, you know, I live with my uh, ex-wife and her boyfriend. And I have my child and uh, my and her boyfriend's child. And, like, that would be confusing for anyone, right? Jeez. Uh, yes, heavily has an impact. Yeah, of course. My ex Hannah is coming over today, and yeah. I'm not so sure how she felt about the living situation. I am the ex-ish, if you want to call it that. Not girlfriend. It was a. We were just you know, situation. We're like homies. Oh, shut up! Oh, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> we're like homies. All right. Okay. <laughs> My dude is trying to, I don't know, to seem like he wasn't in love with her or something like that. He was just screwing around, right? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit deeper than homie. Well, before oh, it's it less awkward. <laughs> Hannah, uh, how did you feel when Tyler told you about this living situation? <laughs> I thought it was a little weird, to be honest. Who would want to live with someone that they were married to? Like, obviously it didn't work for a reason, so like, why are y'all putting yourself in a situation to where like, 
things could come up again. I'm pretty sure you actually texted me. <laughs> it was like, Tyler. Uh, I was like, yeah, she's probably gonna leave after I tell her this, so. Was that your intentions? Were you just trying to get me to leave faster? It wasn't you, it was me. It didn't really have that much of an impact on our relationship because it didn't really progress further afterwards. When he first told her. So as soon as uh, he mentioned that he's living with the ex-wife, she left him. That's what I understand, right? I think he is a great guy and he's going to make some girl very happy one day, but it was just not me or Megan. <laughs> I'm definitely not being his wing woman at all. Maybe further down the line. So next weekend? Yeah, maybe next weekend. Would you recommend this living situation to others? No. <laughs> Don't. Don't recommend it to anyone. Please. Please, for the love of God. Yes and no. Yes, if you do it, get a bigger house. <laughs> and no, <laughs> unless you absolutely have to. Yeah, only if you need Absolutely have to. Why? Why you don't really have absolutely have to, right? No, you don't. <laughs> you can make other choices. You need to. I would, honestly. Of course you would. You have to say yes, right? You have to pretend like everything is okay. I mean, who cares? You, you're screwing already with another guy, so you don't really give a shit about the situation. You know, it's th those two guys that somehow they are screwed, right? I mean, not so much the boyfriend because he doesn't give a shit. He has to move in. But the ex-husband, he, he's not okay with that. What do you hope the future holds for your family? Nothing but the best. Family compound. <laughs> family farm. All right. Uh, whoa. We swapped genders and got married after three months. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that will be the next one uh, that I'm going to read. Anyway, guys, um, I don't know. <laughs> Is this... Um, let me know what you guys think in, your, uh, in the comment section, right? Is this the kind of living situation that you would agree to have? Or you just don't care, you know? To me, honestly, it's really weird, okay? Um, again, as long as they are happy and they accepted it and they're okay with it, um, you know, they're not hurting anyone, so it's absolutely fine. However, like I said uh, earlier, I wonder down the road when the kids are growing how this situation would be because you have to think at some point the kids will be old, you know, um, will be older and they might get confused on who to call fa father, you know? Um, I don't know. To me, it's a bit weird. And I don't think this, I don't think it's going to work. It might work now, but I think down the road, a couple of years from now, I, again, I don't know when this was recorded. Um, so it might be last year, this year, but I think a couple of years from now, they're not going to have this situation again. I think they're going to move away from each other. I don't know. Uh, or maybe the, the girl, she was going to find another boyfriend and <laughs> and that's that guy to move with this two guy. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it was a really weird video, but um, again, uh, to each their own, you know, if they agree with it and they like it, who am I to judge? <laughs> Guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this one uh, in the comment section and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.